Say hello to your new audio system, no stereo required. The Kenwood KAC-M1824BT is a compact Bluetooth four channel digital amplifier with marine operation potential. Basically, this amp turns your smartphone into your head unit. What a time to be alive. Yes, I know most of you car audio hardos would probably spit on this amplifier or feed it to your children, but there are justifiable reasons to buy this amp. Power sports, marine, and motorcycle customers have some of the most demanding needs when it comes to their vehicles and audio, mostly because they have smaller charging systems and minimal space. Space. Vintage car drivers usually only have AM stereos if they haven't already replaced them. So you don't have access to FM, Bluetooth, USB, or even AUX. The KACM1824BT eliminates the need for a head unit in the requirements of sufficient space for a typical sized amplifier. With its Bluetooth controller, the M1824BT makes your phone the source of the audio, not a stereo and its APT-X technology improves Bluetooth sound quality. Connect to the controller like any other Bluetooth device by going into your phone's Bluetooth settings. Once connected, stream away with the controller feeding the signal into the amplifier, then to your speakers. In addition to a Bluetooth connection, you can still hook this amplifier up to a radio. The KAC-M1824BT also has RCA connections, so you can use it with an aftermarket receiver or any other line level device. It can also handle speaker level signals as well, so you can still get input from a radio without RCA outputs. The perfect situation for this setup would be if you had just an outdated ordinary FM AM stereo but wanted to add Bluetooth and a little extra power to your system. You would then be able to switch between the stereo as the source or your phone with Bluetooth as the source. Using the controller is simple. The SRC source button switches from high level or RCA inputs to using Bluetooth as the source. Red illumination is for the high level and RCAs. Blue illumination for Bluetooth, obviously. Then the controller has volume, seek, pause and play buttons, which will only function when in Bluetooth mode. They will not work when you're in the other modes. In high level or low level mode, it is just an amplifier and you have to make your adjustments and controls at the source. The controller has a long cable, a flush mount kit cut into the dash, plus the back of it has a quarter inch turn threaded input, similar to tripods and cameras, which makes mounting anywhere on a vehicle or vessel much easier. The conformal coated circuit board helps keep moisture out, but mostly it aids in preventing damage from vibration so no components move out of place, especially on vehicles like ATVs or boats when you're bouncing around like crazy. And yes, the amplifier is marine capable, but that doesn't mean you can just dunk it in a bucket of water. It's not a floaty, it's an amplifier. I wouldn't even say it's splash proof, that's borderline. The remote, however, is, and is designed to handle the element with its IPX5 rating. Kenwood rates this amplifier 45 watts by four channels at four ohms, or two ohms and 90 watts by two channels bridged at four ohms. But let's test it out for ourselves. Testing line in first, we set the amplifier up with a four ohm dummy load, going four channels in, 14.4 volts, and a 40 hertz test tone. Our audio meter picked up 38 watts RMS of power, 13.2 volts on the oscilloscope, power consumption of 219 watts, and a current draw of 15.1 amps. Going up to one kilohertz, our audio meter went down to 33 watts RMS, 13.2 volts, power consumption 202 watts, and current of 13.97 amps. Next up, we connected to the amplifier via Bluetooth. At 40 hertz, we hit pre-clipping at 24 watts RMS and peaked at 36 watts RMS, 10.7 volts on the oscilloscope. Then at one kilohertz, we hit pre-clipping at 25 watts RMS and peak at 40 watts RMS, 11.7 volts on the oscilloscope. It's not gonna blow your hair back, but not a bad performance from a tiny Bluetooth amplifier. You may ask, why not just build the Bluetooth directly into the amp? Well, this amp is designed for all sorts of vehicles and is purposely made very compact. So you can just bury it somewhere deep in the vehicle or vessel, under the seats, behind a dash, trunk, motorcycle fairing, wherever. And the 10 and a half inch cable on the Bluetooth controller will give you access to it at any time. The only adjustable setting on the amplifier is very unique in that it is fader for front or rear, which is basically designed for boat operation when you may have speakers up front that may be closer to your lounging deck compared to the ones that could be all the way in the back or on a wake tower. So you can fade them perfectly for a balanced sound on the water. The amplifier also features a USB input 
which is used for charging only. You cannot stream music with your phone or a USB thumb drive. Signal sensing turn on on speaker level inputs eliminate need for separate remote lead. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car, marine, and power sports gear with us. Links in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you hate it, click the dislike button. I don't know why you would. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.